Longhorn tick was recently spotted in Kentucky and it can be incredibly dangerous for pets. Clancy Burke is live at Town Square Animal Hospital in Blue Ash this morning to tell us what we need to know to keep our pets and our families safe. Hi Clancy. Hey Sheila, spotting a tick is incredibly difficult. I mean, right here on this chart, you can see everything. You can see the designs, the shapes, the colors, the details, but in person, it looks a lot more like this. Just a dot that you can find, yes, on yourself, as you mentioned, Sheila, it could be families, but also on your pets. Don't you worry though, this morning we're here with Dr. Z. And first of all, how the heck do we spot these on our pets? Well, it's going to be very difficult sometimes when you have a longer haired dog like Hunter here. Basically, you have to look very carefully here. Shorter hair, you can just actually see them. But let's say, for instance, I would suggest getting a flea comb. And basically what you'll want to do is carefully look because the dogs tend to go. Uh, you'll want to look inside the ears, very common places inside the ears or behind the ears. They thrust their head and front legs through the bushes. This is where you're going to most commonly see it. So you want to look into their beard. Any parts of the dog, of the head and the front area of the body, the most common areas you want to look. This may help you with the longer haired dogs take a look. You want to part the hair and carefully look down at the base of the skin. That's where you're going to see them. And all of a sudden you see something very small, like you said, two to five millimeters. Might have legs and it's moving. And you've got to really track them down. So this is the most common places you want to look around the head, armpits, uh, in the neck area here. Again, any place that a dog is going to push its head through the bushes or tall grasses are the most common areas you'll look for it here. So you do have to look carefully. Uh, just like with people, all of a sudden you find them up here by your hairline. Uh, so for dogs, it's very careful. Anytime you go out to a park or any area there out, you know, get out, just getting outside. You're going to need to carefully look when they come back in. Let's say I do find a tick on my dog. What's next? Well, first of all, you need to make sure that you pull the full tick out, which means if you have, you can get tick extractors or if you do gentle pressure. What you'll want to do is you want to do gentle pressure. You don't want to leave the head in the skin. So you may want to take tweezers and very carefully get around the head, which is kind of being burrowed. Usually it's going to be burrowed deep into the skin and gently just pull. Be very patient and gently pull until you feel like you may have the head and the whole body out, not just uh, the, bo the body, but the head. It's important too. Right. Thank you so much, Dr. You're Z. Welcome. And the most important thing though, is preventing this from happening in the first place coming up. That's what we're going to be talking about for now, though. Back to you in the studio. Clancy. Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain fever in dogs are on the rise. From 2017 through last year, Lyme disease increased by 5% across the United States.